guys do not wash your hair with cold water okay like hello honeys we don't do cold water in the low quality hair family cold water is a no-no okay because guys with my experience with low quality hair you can't put anything in your hair without heat like it's so stubborn it needs that extra push so like normally no normally we go like that we just wash our hair like that and then we're done okay no <laughs> Welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So today the camera is on us, okay? Today is me and you because we're talking all things hair. Today we're going to find out why you might be using all the products in your hair, but you're still getting the shedding, the breakage, the hair loss, okay? The scalp dryness, the hair dryness. We're going to find out why. But first, guys, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much to all our returning subscribers and all our new subscribers. Like, guys, the last two, our last two videos, the subscribers we got was just mind-blowing. Thank you so much. Thank so I thought of doing this video because because of all the questions I'm seeing in the comment section, okay, some of you are asking why you're getting the dryness, the shedding, the scalp dryness, the hair dryness, the, the breakage, okay, even though you're using all the products, okay, in your hair, you can't see any changes and you're still getting the issues with your hair, okay, and you wanted me to share some tips on what I'm doing and what I'm using to grow our hair. So I thought I'll start by talking about our hair type because I feel when you know your hair type, you will know exactly what to put in your hair and what not to put in your hair, you will know exactly the product that to use in your hair what your hair type needs and what your hair type do not need and do not want okay to grow your hair and so today we're going to talk about hair porosity okay now what is porosity porosity simply means the ability to absorb moisture okay now since we're talking of hair we're going to focus on hair porosity hair porosity simply means how well can your hair absorb moisture okay that means how well can your hair take in moisture and products selected when you put water in your hair how long does it take for your hair to get wet okay and when you put your product in your hair so let's say your moisturizers your creams how does your hair feel does your hair feel soft after you put in your product or does your hair feel like nothing is been applied if your hair feels soft that means the product has actually gone deep down into your hair strands okay your hair has absorbed the product but if your hair feels nothing if it feels like nothing is not right to your hair that means the product has not gone into your hair your hair has not absorbed the product now i feel it's more important to know your hair porosity than even your curl pattern because with your curl pattern you can actually see whether your hair is straight or your hair is curly you will see so in that case you will know if your hair is full b or 4c or 2a or 2b okay or 3c or 3b or 3a you will know okay your curl pattern because you can see it but with hair porosity it's, it can be tricky it can be very tricky and i think you need to know your hair porosity okay because your hair porosity actually dictates okay what product to put in your hair the product to avoid and how much moisture and how much of the product to put in your hair else your hair is going to be struggling okay and that brings us to the types of hair porosity we've got so the first one is low porosity hair and the next one is normal porosity hair and the third one is high porosity hair. now low porosity hair simply means your hair cuticles or the outer part of your hair shaft or your hair strand are so close like closely closely tight okay so closely tight you can see there's no space so closely tight okay so when you put water hydration moisture products like moisturizers creams on your hair it, the product will just literally sit on your hair. The water will just sit on your hair because the cuticles are so close that it cannot, the water cannot penetrate, the product cannot penetrate into your hair strands, okay? And that is low porosity hair. Now, normal porosity hair simply means the cuticles are slightly open, so slightly, you can see slightly open, okay? So product can just gradually go into your hair. More easier than the low porosity hair. and then we have the high porosity hair, which means your cuticles are wide wide open so you can see like wide wide open okay that means when you put products moisture water in your hair they go right into your hair strand okay they go sink right into your hair strand and that is high porosity now how do you know whether you're low porosity hair normal porosity hair, or high porosity hair? there's a few tests you can do at home okay yourself to know what porosity hair you got the first one is the cup test so basically you just take a strand of your hair okay dip it 
it in water a cup of water if the wool if the hair is floats and settles on top of the water that means you're low prostate because the cuticles are so close the water is not going to the hair strand okay if the hair strand gradually sinks to the middle normally the middle of the water that means your normal porosity hair okay that means cuticles are slightly slightly opened okay and it's gradually taking in the moisture the water now if your hair strand sinks right to the bottom of the water that means your high porosity hair because your cuticles are wide open and it's taking all the more all the moisture and water and it's gone straight down to the bottom of the cup or the water okay now the cup test has got mixed reviews about it so some people say our hair has natural oils so because natural it's got natural oils the hair is already coated in oil so the oil will prevent the water from coming into the strand so that means the strand will just settle on top of the water some also say it depends on the temperature where you're doing the test so if you do it in a hot temperature the cuticles will be opened and so will absorb the water and sink right to the bottom but if you do it in a cold temperature that means the cuticles will be closed so then the water will not go into the hair strand and then will be sitting the, the strand will be sitting on top of the water okay so some says the cup test is not really reliable okay and this move then we go to the next um test which is the um the strand test okay so basically again you take a strand of your hair just a strand of your hair and then you rub your finger along the strand okay if the if the strand feels rigid if it feels like if it feels rough and has bumps on it that means it's high porosity hair if it feels smooth and straight that means it's low porosity hair okay and also another test you can do is called the body and hair test okay so basically normally when you come out of the shower when you wash your hair and your body okay which part dries first if your hair dries before your body that means your hair is high porosity hair because cuticles are wide open and so when the water goes in it comes straight out and that's how high porosity hair high porosity is when the water goes in as quick as the water goes in it comes out same way it comes out so straight away so when you put water in your hair it, it could dries quickly and that is high porosity hair so if your hair dries quicker than your body that means you're high porosity hair but if your body dries before your hair that means you're low porosity hair because with low porosity hair too the cuticles are so close so when moisture goes into the strands it locks it in there it's not coming out it stays in there because the cuticles are closed okay so then that is the um, body and hair test okay another test you can also do okay is called the shower test so basically again you go in the shower run water in your hair okay if you if your hair gets wet straight away okay that means your hair is high porosity but if it takes long for your hair to get wet that means you are you know low porosity because the cuticles are closed and it's not taking in the water okay so these are the um, tests that you can do so there are also signs to look out for which can tell you your hair porosity okay and the first one is when you put product in your hair do you see the product just sitting on your hair do you feel like nothing is been applied when you put the product in or do you feel that your hair is gone so straight away when you put the product now when you put product in your hair and you can see this, the product just sitting on your hair that means you are low porosity hair okay like my youngest daughter she's low porosity like i said so when you normally you see me when i do um deep conditioning for hair you can see the hair mask just sitting on her hair when i'm i'm working on the on, on her hair with the hair mask you can see it sitting on it so if the color is green or yellow or whatever you can see the product just sitting on the hair because the hair is just it's just repelling the product it doesn't want it it's just saying i just don't want this product that is low porosity hair okay but if your hair absorbs the product and you can see the hair is feels soft and you cannot see any product on it that means you're high porosity because the product has been absorbed by the hair and it's gone dumped into it's gone down into the hair strand the next sign is how long does it take your hair to dry okay so let's say when you wash your hair or when you come out of the shower how long does it take your hair to dry like low porosity hair can take hours to dry even not days like my youngest daughter her hair can take like three days sometimes even four days to dry okay it takes long to dry because the cuticles are so close that when water goes in it's not coming out it's locked in okay it's not coming out so if you're somebody that just would like to style your hair straight away and go you don't like to you know wait you just want to style your hair and go when you wash your hair it can be a problem okay for a low porosity hair person okay so that's one sign another sign is if you let's say you use relaxers on your hair if you're somebody that relaxes your hair if you're low porosity hair it will take longer to relax your hair when you put the relaxer in your hair but then if you're high porosity hair your hair will just relax straight away 
So my little prosy hair honeys, let me hear you in the house, okay? I'm sure at the moment we all probably know whether we are low or high or normal prosty hair. But today we're going to focus on low prosty hair because I feel most of my subscribers are low prosty hair. But based on the questions I was reading in the comment section, like the dry scalp, the hair dryness, you know, all the issues that you're having. It could be that you're low prosty because low prosty you can have issues like buildups, okay? Because your cuticles are closed when you put products in your hair it's not going into your hair strand it's not going into your hair follicles the follicles is at the root okay so that means it's sitting on your scalp or on your hair and that is build up and build up can lead to breakage and the final sign okay that we'll talk about is when you put water in your hair do you see the water just sitting on your hair like in the diagram okay in this diagram you can see you see the water do you see the water like the droplets just sitting on your hair the bubbles just on your hair or you don't see it if you can see the water sitting on your hair okay that means you're low prosty because your hair is not absorbing the moisture because the cuticles are closed but if you put water in your hair and you can't see it that means your cuticles are wide open and the water has been absorbed okay by your hair so today we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of okay, on looking after your low porosity hair okay the things to avoid the product to avoid putting in your hair and the product to put in your hair okay we're going to talk about all that so you will know how to look after your hair to get that bouncy shiny healthy hair you're looking for and get that retention and avoid all the issues like scalp dryness hair dryness avoid all that okay but my normal porosity hair and high porosity hair honeys don't worry the next video we're going to talk about what to do if you're high porosity or normal porosity things to put in your hair things not to put in your hair and how to look after your hair because at the moment i'm normal porosity so we've got all the hair types in the family okay so i have all the experience in all the three hair types okay so i'm going to share that i feel a lot of us are low porosity have low porosity but we don't know okay like when i had my first child i didn't know she was low porosity and i was using all the wrong products for her all the products that low porosity hair do not need and do not want and i had to avoid i was using it and then she was having her hair was struggling her hair was getting damaged okay so i started doing my research and then i found out about hair porosity and all things about hair okay so i want to share all of that with you okay so you will know what to do and how to look after it so number one do okay wash your hair with warm water okay guys wash your hair with warm water like with my experience with low porosity hair you can't put anything in your hair without heat heat is needed for anything heat is needed to put anything in a low porosity hair low porosity hair is stubborn okay and you need that extra push okay so wash your hair with warm water and the warm water will open up the cuticles okay and the follicles which are the roots okay will open them up and then we'll be able to take in the water take in the moisture okay if, especially when after washing you're going to put products in your hair you want to make sure you wash your hair with warm water to open up the cuticle take in the moisture and then after that the product you're going to put it in as well it will take it in okay guys do not wash your hair with cold water okay like hello honeys we don't do cold water in the low porosity hair family cold water is a no-no okay because think about it your hair is already okay your cuticles are already closed so if you put cold water in your hair it's going to close your cuticles even further okay and that means nothing is going in your hair no product going in no um moisture hydration nothing water nothing is going in your hair okay and that's going to leave all the products sitting on your hair leading to buildups okay leading to breakage and then hair loss okay so don't wash your hair with cold water number two when you're washing your hair wash your hair in sections okay do not wash your hair like a whore so like normally you know normally we go like that we just wash our hair like that and then we're done okay no split the hair open so split it open you wash this bit and then wash this bit in little sections okay because once you wash your hair in a hole obviously your cuticles are closed so the water is not going into it it's just sitting on the hair okay so split open and when i say separate them split open the hair okay split and give it a good good wash okay and this means as well when you are putting the shampoo okay make sure you're you're putting the shampoo in smaller sections okay so that it will go into it okay it will go into the cuticle and the same as when you're putting your product 
put it in sections okay separate your hair put your products into your hair in sections and also once you're doing that rub it with your finger make sure you're working it in with your fingers okay don't just rub it in don't just put it in and you're gone rub it and work it in with your fingers because low prostate is very stubborn and it needs that extra push number three deep condition your hair with heat okay so when you're putting in your deep conditioners in your hair okay make sure you're applying heat to it because guys with my experience with low porosity hair you can't put anything in your hair without heat like it's so stubborn it needs that extra push okay so deep condition your hair with heat okay so what i'm trying to say is when you put in your deep conditioners your hair mask okay cover your hair with a plastic cup or something nothing fancy just a plastic cup or your, sh or your shower cup okay and leave it in for 30 45 minutes i can go for like an hour okay but maybe for kids little ones you can go for 30 minutes i can go sometimes even more hours four hours so that the heat will actually open the cuticles okay and then we'll let the hair strand absorb the deep conditioner okay into the strands okay so we deep condition your hair with heat by the way you can also apply heat whilst deep conditioning your hair is to use thermal cups okay which you can just pop into the microwave and then put it in okay on your head and also you can use um hooded dryers okay you can also warm up your towel okay and just wrap it around your your head okay and just cover it with a plastic cup or you know and then just walk around and the heat in the in the um the towel will actually open the cuticles okay and then get the product the hair mask or the dip conditioner into your hair strand okay for you can warm up your dip conditioner so all you do is just put your dip conditioner in a little bowl okay and then put that little bowl in a bigger bowl with warm water in that bigger bowl and that one will warm up your dip conditioner and then you apply it to your hair which will open the cuticles because of the heat in the dip conditioners okay so this is how you apply heat when doing your um dip conditioner now my next do okay is once you've done all the washing once you've washed the hair and everything you're still in the bathroom okay the room is still warm it's still you know the heat is still there the cuticles are still open because you've been washing with warm water guys straight away go in with your leave-in conditioner okay guys this tip has been amazing for us okay you can see that the girl's hair it's amazing because of these tips trust me try it let me know what you think don't put your leave-in conditioner outside when you come out of the bathroom put your leave-in conditioner in the bathroom once you finish washing your hair right there whilst the cuticles are still open and it's ready to take anything okay do it there it will work better okay put your leave-in conditioner in your hair in the bathroom right after washing your hair whilst the cuticles are open brilliant okay don't come out of the bathroom and put in your leave-in conditioner again especially when the leave-in conditioners most of them are cold already and also outside is cold and also when you come out also when you're coming out your hair is already drying up okay so the cuticles are already starting to close so you don't want to do that you want to keep put your living conditioner in the bathroom where it's still hot it's still warm kilter girls are opened and you know the environment is brilliant the next point is use the lco method okay guys do not use the loc method when you are working on your hair okay when you're styling your hair whatever you're doing when you're applying product on your hair so the lco method basically is liquid or leave-in okay then create and then oil okay and then the loc is liquid or leave-in oil and then cream so what the loc method simply is when applying your product in your hair is that you first use your liquid or your leave-in in your hair first and then you put in your oil and then after that you put your cream but then the lco on the other hand is you first apply your leave-in or your liquid and then your cream and then your oil so what i'm saying is use the lco method okay when applying product to you in your hair so that means first put in your leave-in or your liquid then the cream before the oil because guys think about it oil is a sealant okay so once you put oil in your hair it blocks anything else coming into your hair so all the creams everything that comes after the hair is not going to go into your hair strand. it's going to sit on your hair it's going to sit on your scalp it's not going to go into your hair cuticles it's not going to go into your 
hair follicles, okay, which is your roots, and it's, this is going to lead to buildups, okay, then it's going to lead to hair dryness, and it's going to lead to breakage, okay, so please guys, we've done this, it's working for us, try it. So my next do is wash your hair frequently, okay, clarify your hair frequently, okay, because guys, don't forget you go a low frosty hair your hair strands are not taking in the product okay so your cuticles are closed and the products are probably just sitting on your hair okay so if you're not washing your hair imagine what you're doing to your hair because guys don't forget we are always putting in our moisturizers our creams and then our moisturizer then our oils then our creams okay so they are always building okay building on top of each other okay if you're not washing it and it's just sitting on it already your cuticles are closed so once you have all these on the hair as well that means anything that you're putting on just sitting on the hair leading to build up okay leading to build up and build up as i said leads to hair dryness scalp dryness and it leads to hair breakage and actually i hope this part has actually answered some of the questions okay in the comment section for some of you okay where you're wondering why you're getting all the breakage there scalp issues and the dryness because probably you're not clarifying your hair frequently you're leaving the hair to have buildups okay so things the products are building on your hair because you didn't know that you have low cross here you thought the products are going in but no they're sitting on your hair okay which is leading to build up and build up leads to dryness scalp dryness hair dryness and then leads to breakage so then again you're not getting the hair retention because of this reason and another thing okay with build up as well is it makes your hair look gray okay because because you're not washing it the product is sitting on the hair and you're adding more so when you style your hair your hair looks gray it makes your hair look old and it makes it look messy okay like we don't want that guys okay you don't want that next do is try and use more liquidy product okay light product okay for your hair so instead of using like um a lot of butters a lot of thick creams you know butters for your hair use more liquidy products like milky products for your hair to make your hair to make your hair strand to make it easy for your hair strands okay to absorb the product into your hair so my next do is try and use soft water or distilled water on your hair okay so try and put soft water in your hair okay if you live in a hard water area okay i'm not sure if you're familiar with hard water soft water depends on where you live okay but hard water simply is water with very high mineral content like magnesium calcium heavy sulfate which which leaves a film on your hair okay and your scalp okay preventing all the moisture goodness the hydration the water and the product okay going into your hair strands okay so try and use soft water on your hair okay now you can eat, just boil the water okay it will take the hardness out and then you can use that on your hair okay also try and use silk scarf satin scarf okay and bonnet okay on your hair when you're sleeping you don't want to use products that will absorb you know all the moisture in your hair okay whilst you're sleeping okay even your pillowcases try and use silk ones okay if you can okay to avoid the material absorbing okay the moisture in your hair another tip is you can add conditioner to your water okay so you know you spray with the water you spray in your hair when you're spraying water in your hair you can add conditioner to it okay that will the conditioner will help the water to be absorbed in your hair also the conditioner will protect you the water okay in your hair from escaping from your hair okay and also the conditioner will also soften your cuticles okay will open your cuticles to make it more manageable okay so always add some conditioner to your spray water the water you spray in your hair add a bit of conditioner to it and my next tip moisturize your hair okay moisturize your hair at least twice a week moisturize your hair regularly okay often okay don't leave it too long okay moisturize your hair basically like twice a week three times a week i moisturize my girl's hair three times a week because I feel you know kids play in very harsh environment and school and all that so I always try to moisturize their hair to keep it you know to keep that moisture in because imagine guys if you're not moisturizing your skin okay or moisturizing your skin just once a week how will your skin be after a while it will be dry it will be flaky and all that okay it's the same as your hair okay so try and moisturize 
regularly okay even if it's three times a week do it even if it's four times do it it's worth it okay it's worth it and your hair will thank you trust me your hair will thank you so much okay and my next tip okay is do not work on soaking wet hair okay so when your hair is soaking wet don't put in your product okay don't apply your product because already your hair is coated in water okay and already your cuticles are closed so that means nothing will go in your hair so try and work on damp hair that means apply products in your hair when your hair is damp and not soaking wet okay so the cuticles can actually get the products into your hair okay it will be open for the product to go into your hair strands okay honey so my final final tip okay is try and use humectants and emolents okay use products like humectants and emolents okay in your hair so products like honey okay now humectants actually attract moisture okay into your hair okay and then emolents actually makes your hair soft okay and seals in the moisture okay in your hair okay keeps the moisture in your hair okay from ex escaping okay honey so this is the end of our video okay this is the end of our video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something from it okay that you're gonna apply okay and that will help your hair and avoid all the issues you have in with the your hair breakage the dryness the scalp dryness you know the itchiness dandruff and all that okay i hope knowing your hair type okay and how to look after it will help you okay look after your hair please don't forget to thumbs up okay if you love this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe so please if you haven't done already okay and please don't forget to share please i'm sure this will benefit somebody you might know somebody okay your sisters your brothers your friends okay your daughters you know everybody your husband your children everyone okay try and share 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 guys okay it might help somebody okay it might somebody it might save somebody going through so much issues with their hair okay try and share okay and don't forget to set your notifications okay please hit that notification bell please please okay so when i put a new video you'll be first to you know okay so you don't miss anything okay thank you thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you spending all this time with me thank you so much and i will see you in my next video take care god bless love you to the moon and back bye